Hello kite foilers and uh, welcome back at the Kitefoil School of Kite Finder. It started to rain outside, but uh, you know, we do everything for our viewers. So uh, we took uh, Rolf's uh, window out and uh, put it back here against the wall. So Rolf, last time you were uh, drawing this uh, beautiful uh, little drawing. So can you tell us a little bit more about uh, what's going on next? Yeah, I was um, about to explain um yeah how this how this force works and where it works and uh yeah how you can stand on top of it uh so thinking about it i thought we should take a little step back first and take uh, another little look at this uh picture oh that's uh, the thing with uh, with the ball basically yeah that's what, where i was trying to explain uh, why uh, you get this upward force why you get even any force from a uh, from a wing and basically the two arrows that i uh i didn't draw yet were two arrows that are yeah used so much in uh aerodynamics and it's the lift and the drag ah lift and drag people drag. lift and drag two basically. extra arrows just uh, get your little crayons and uh, start writing it down now exactly basically if you're a kite surfer it's you can't do without there's nothing gonna happen without lift and everything gets out of control without drag ah. that's basically the story ah okay and if you're really good in that you're a drag queen <laughs> or a drag king <laughs> something like that. <laughs> something like that oh yeah oh yeah so let me just put in the lift force so i explained that there there's due to all these pressures and uh, water being deflected down there's a force and to make it simple uh, people said like yeah okay all nice uh, big stories what is the effect ah oh, there's a force okay then we just draw the force as an arrow and we call it lift now the only thing that you that you will get when you get lift you need to kind of pay for it there's no there's no lift for free that's ah, okay. uh, there's no no free, free lifts no free rides here no free rides exactly so you pay with some yeah some amount of of drag hope it's clear enough in my picture getting a bit messy but these two always go together that's the most important message there's no lift without drag and there is drag without lift uh so uh we also talked a little bit about the, the shape of the foil so i think it's kind of nice to just put it in between just to um yeah to say something about it yeah perfect give us a nice overview basically what you see is you got these long slender wings and you got these more compact uh smaller smaller yeah, you, can, you, got, you got small thick ones and uh, and uh long ones long narrow ones So this uh, is uh, basically that's your long, narrow, slender wing. Ah, uh, and this, uh, this is uh, this is going to be a nice big boy. Something like that, and then uh, you have to picture uh, behind it. You got this uh, this stabilizer. Thing. Yeah, the stabilizer comes behind. This, this is just the front wing. This is just the front wing, and like I said, this is this is what it's all about, in uh, in the in the basics. Okay. You you need to have this this front wing to lift you out of the out of the water. Basically, the simple explanation is, the long and slender one does it in a better way. It's ah, it's more effective. It's more efficient. It's with this type of wing, you pay with less drag than with the small uh okay so you get you, you get more you get more lift so you go you go out of the water a lot a lot better and a lot easier um i would say you get less drag not more not more lift necessarily but the the amount of drag that you have to pay for your lift that you need anyway is less so you go faster the wing. in the end this means you uh you could go faster or you can go faster upwind your angle upwind will be better. Uh, this is how you how you trans how this translates into uh, reality in the end. Oh, yeah. it, it does it doesn't have anything to do with your own body weight. 
it um no this doesn't have uh, much to do with your own body weight you just need to have a certain lift force to support your own body weight and for everybody that's yeah just your own body weight but then to get that lift force you basically need to pay with some drag and that depends on the choice of uh of foil in general people say the the low aspect ratio that's uh yeah, the, the big boy the, the fat one the yeah that's uh i think for many people something they heard about this is the high aspect ratio high width lower surface area and this is the low aspect ratio small width with the same surface area basically so what would be uh what would be preferable if you start uh kite foiling would you go for a low aspect ratio to to get it slow and uh and, and start in or do you want to go to a fast one uh, straight away or yeah i think there's uh, i've heard people on the beach talking about it quite a lot most people say uh that the low aspect ratio wing is preferably uh, preferable for uh yeah for learning how to foil in, in my own experience i kind of wonder if that's in in which extent that is true because the high aspect wings that are like good foils with high aspect that i tried i find them in a way so much easier to uh, to write so, um, so I in the I end i wouldn't say directly that the low aspect is simply better it's it's not that it's not that uh that's so why would you use it then just for less wind or less speed or uh, what would be uh, what would be a good use for a low aspect wing yeah true that's a good question it's easier to design in my in my opinion i tried a couple of um uh, yeah aluminium super simple low aspect wings they all work if i try a high aspect wing I, yeah that's harder to get it work so uh, like the, the construction is is easier to build with a uh, with a low aspect wing uh, wing as well okay so everybody could bu everybody could build a low aspect wing yeah basically i think it's it's much simpler to uh to make this and um maybe there is a part true about low aspect wings are easier in some ways but i i wouldn't say they they always are it's that's that's mostly my message that uh okay well people you heard rolf just buy yourself a good wing a high aspect one <laughs> yeah something like that i'm yeah i'm not sure it's uh <laughs> <laughs> sometimes just i think trying uh, uh quite a few different hydrofoils uh it's not only this it's it's there are many other things that define whether it's easy to write or not it's don't don't look at this only it's uh, just try it That's okay people well you heard it there's a lot more stuff to talk about you subscribe over here and then uh, we'll tell you all about it <laughs>